Hey guys, you Toxic Cake here, and welcome back to another episode of Well Played GG, episode 3 this time. And I have Daisy footage in the background in case you're wondering. And our first story right off the bat comes out of CSGO and Dota 2. Uh, trading is now disabled in the Netherlands after like a uh, loot box crackdown. So, Netherlands Gaming Authority has moved on Valve's games. So what that means is basically they're banning all all uh, trading and stuff like that for uh, Valve's CSGO and Dota 2 because of the recent outcries from Star's Battlefront 2 as you uh, sure have remembered from loot boxes like in Overwatch and FIFA and also CSGO. So yeah, now that that's banned, that sucks for all you Netherlands CSGO players out there. On a better news, the highly realistic uh, shooter Arm 3 is getting a new single player scenario this year, which is which is great news, you know, because uh, after the ex uh, Apex expansion, uh, it was kind of disappointing for you for users who bought the main game, just like myself. Uh, but now they're actually adding uh, a new single player scenario, which is great news. And once again, in bad news. Uh, the Battlefield subreddit is has become absolutely chaos that the mods are now banning posts about historical accuracy, which is really stupid because they're making a fair point, but uh, just like in the official Battlefield Discord, they said there's a temporary rule that uh, historical accuracy should, it will be resulting in a kick, which is really stupid because uh, people are in an outcry because not many people like it, they want to improve their game, but they're banning people now, and uh, I'm quoting a mod here. He said, hates us all you want, but we're done with this bull****. So, <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's strong things coming from a official Battlefield mod, so we'll see how that escalates. PUBG got a special charity live stream. you know, they did a charity live stream. it was really good. Uh, it happened around nine days ago, and it was uh, by the hashtag, hashtag chicken for charity from The Sims, Talha, and John P. I'm sorry if I pronounced them long, wrong in any way. And in other PUBG news, finally, the Sandhawk map is now live, but there's a catch. PUBG added a new small map, but they had an event pass, which is literally almost one to one like Fortnite battle pass except some of the stuff you get from that pass you don't get to keep they're only temporary which is probably like the worst idea i could think of for PUBG right now because they're struggling you know their game is 30 euro and now on sale there it's only 20 euro so now they're really struggling so we'll see, we'll see how that goes so uh, I, I think i'll give PUBG another chance it's a good game after all and it's nothing like my uh, like game breaking. Speaking of the Steam sales, the Steam sales are now on, thankfully, and it's on until uh, June twenty first to July the fifth, which is great news for us gamers because cheap games and no G two A. Yippee! Steam Link is now only two fifty on sale. It's been deducted more than ninety percent, which is crazy for the Steam Link. But sadly, it won't ship free, otherwise everyone will probably be getting them. Uh, Overwatch got a new hero by the name of Wrecking Ball. It's a hamster and a giant mech ball that can swing around and get a lot of kills. Personally, one of the wackiest heroes, but hey, I'm not an Overwatch pro. I can't say much. I just want to tell you that they have a new hybrid tank, which is bad. I hate hybrid tanks. They're so annoying. On to one of our final themes of today, we got that... Discord is finally adding a colorblind mode for people with like impaired vision so they could actually use this service. Also, Discord added a new Steam like kind of games tab where like you can see all the recent news around your games and games that your friends play. You can see that what they're playing actually. It looks really, really cool. I really like the feature. I can really see it becoming handy and it's just a good like five minute read. Finally, I want to say that Bethesda claims that Fallout 76's nukes are going to be really hard to get and super easy to avoid just so that they won't become super overpowered. Uh, as Pete Hines claims, 
they're not going to be firing off every five minutes which is good for balancing purposes and gets a lot of things clear anyways guys if you enjoyed this episode of well played gg please do leave a like a lot of people have been giving me good feedback around this series so i want to keep it going you know uh also if you haven't seen my new channel trailer please go check that out it, i've put a lot of effort into that so yeah and do like that as well and as always if you want to see more well played gg then subscribe etc you already know the deal now see you boys next time